Hello! It is the last week. It is the final week of XDWC. Gerald's dead. He's done. But here we go. We've got a very tricky map. We've got a lot of pro routes going on this week. We have... Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of pro routes. But first up, if you're lost, here's your complete beginner's route. You come down here. Ignore this rocket launcher. Shoot it over there just to confuse someone like me. Uh, ignore the big black marks. I have permanent decals on so I can see where people are shooting, see what people are doing and kind of route steal that way. You go over there, hit that bounce pad, come over here. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. All this route will be walkable if you don't know how to strafe, but I do recommend checking out strafing guide for Quake or mine for Xenotic. It'll probably be linked in the description. Um, yeah, to be able to go. You get the rocket launcher, you can use it if you want. If you know how to ground, we're going to come to the side. Doesn't matter, left or right are both the same. I hope everybody's keeping up because I've kind of got a bit hyper at the minute. I don't know why. Let's calm down a little bit. We're going to come around here, try and hit some of these down ramps. This is a week where it's incredibly relevant to try and get some pro route going. So if you've got time, try and get some pro route going. Don't. It's not worth trying to optimise all of what we just did. Two tubes going straight up if you can use it. Um... Yeah, it's not worth trying to optimize the non-pro route unless you re like unless you're on a good run and then try and do it as best as you can. But it's not worth trying to optimize the non-pro route. So yeah, I should mention this: when you are coming up these stairs here, so we've just backtracked to when we came round. When you're going up these stairs, try to go up the stairs in the middle because in Zenotic you will just kind of float upstairs, uh, whereas the ramps will actually slow you down while you're going up them. You'll eat the ramp so yeah try doing that i think it's probably gonna be stairs up there and then flick one to get a kind of shorter corner you might be able to get a good corner but yeah if you can do any fancy tricks like that you should be taking the pro route up here over here ignore this that's for when you come out of there doing one of the other pro routes which i'm going to try and show you after please do stick around because i'd be very impressed if i can do them uh without going to the practice teleporters but i'm going to try and do it all in one shot because it is week five and if I can do it all in one shot, I'll prove to myself that I can do it all in one shot. That's the key importance. Coming out of here, drop down here, straight across. Spacing is going to be an absolute nightmare for that. This bit is a ramp, so try and land on this funny little bit just here because it will give you an extra little kick of speed. Quite a bit if you fall from a very high height. Round here, uh, you can try and use your rocket launcher to get across here. Um, there is a pro strat using the rocket launcher around the other side. The other option is come around the side, ignore the rocket launcher down here. And, oh, fuck, I missed it. Never mind. <laughs> so it's not as easy. Some of these new brutes, like, try and get that rocket launcher because, uh, you're actually likely to overjump that, I think, compared to being able to control your shot with the rocket launcher. So, yeah, round here with the rocket launcher. You're going to lose it in a second. Get round here. Again... If you've got your rockets left, try boost up there. Um, Pro route gets extra rockets, but we'll show you that in a bit. Again, I believe in you. You can do it. You can do the pro route. Down here, if you've got good speed coming through here, if you're a good strafer, um, boom, up there. Flick off of it. Otherwise, you always got the jump pads. You know, you're just looking out for those jump pads. Bounce down here. Jump up there. That one, I believe in you. You can do it. The spacing's pretty good. Otherwise, you know, you've got it. Down here, hit as many down ramps as you can. That's always the aim. Then, ter ah, I was about to say, terrible spacing, but you're going to have to perfect it. Around here, here's one that I think anyone can do. Honestly, trust me, jump up, shoot that. It'll shoot you down into the ground faster. So that's uh, a better thing than just waiting to fall. Slick around this corner. Over here, rocket launcher. You can jump up or... Hit the bounce pad again, as usual. Jumping over that, you do have to kind of time it right. It is quite a big jump. Then we've just got slick. Not quite sure where you use this rocket launcher, actually. And, uh, yeah, then you've got this. If you're fast enough, hit that. You'll get a big boost. Go into the finish. Otherwise, just take the ramp. Take it around the corner. You know, maybe try to shoot that so that you... Because you will be going quite fast if you can work out how to do slick. You will be going quite fast. So you might be able to make it up round onto one of these corners here. But then... Enter the darkness through the line. And there you go. There is your beginner route. But before you go, if you need to practice, you jump down here. You meet Gerald. 
Missed practice. Through the teleporter, you will need to put R underscore water on because if it's off, you won't be able to see through. Uh, R underscore water one. We'll fix that. And then you got the first practice teleporter, second, third, fourth. So this one's going to take you to here, which is after the big boost. So you will, the first section, you will need to practice that coming up. But you will be able to practice coming around here and doing this fancy thing. Oh, it's a bit there. Yeah. So let's give this a go without the practice teleporters. So first things first, you're going to come down here, you're going to get a rocket button. Ah. First things first, you're going to come down here, you're going to get a rocket boost. Come on. Craven, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Do that. Hope your spacing's good. Here, same route as regular. Coming through, trying to strafe, trying to get your spacing to not be crap. Here, boom. Then we're going to come up here. We're looking. We're trying to come across to the other side. You can go up either side, obviously. Then we're coming here. And now we're going to Hagar again. There we go. We're up, we're out, here. Really difficult turn to do. Strafe hard, get around this corner. Not quite sure what that does, so I'm not going to use it. Velocity pad, up, over, hit this. Big boost, up and over the top. Then you're going to come down here, over here, round here. Boom. Oh, I've done it. Fuck. I've only gone and done it. And then you're out here, you're back to the normal route. Again, hit this pad. So that's very important. That pad hit. Then here, we're going to shoot there. We're going to go around this corner. We're going to get our boost. We're going to go up. We're going to go. We've got an extra two rockets we can use until we go past the thing. And I forgot to use my rockets. Bollocks. Oh, I managed to jump onto the sign. What a legend. Doing a 360. We're going to go. We're going for the pro route. Look at me go. I'm actually genuinely excited about this because honestly, perfecting these things is so good. It's the dopamine I live for is perfecting little crap like this. It's the reason we play this game. I honestly don't know what the rocket's for. Because you've got that shot at the end, so it's not rocket stacking to the end. But there we go. How the hell did I do that? That is absolutely massive. It's not an incredible time, obviously, but it is good. Yeah, so you can come through here. I'll show you where they all go. You can see them. These are literal, like, exact. You can see this damage here. Uh, if I do uh, underscore decals, fade time. So they're gone. Because my fade time is set to really high. I should say to wimp. Yeah, so this one is for this teleporter practice. Whoop. So you can practice this one. You get the rocket a bit later. So yeah, it's uh, the, the, the checkpoint's pretty good. I... But let's go through, if you are, so if you're still watching this, you are probably interested in getting better. Let's go through this and show you, you can try this. This is, this first section, I think anyone can get, right? Because it's right at the start. So, you know, you, you, you're right at the start, you just hold jump and you just go forwards. It's, it's not perfectly easy, but I reckon you got this, you know? Apparently I don't. There we go. I reckon, give it a go, right? You know, if you can, give it a go. That's your, that's your first. You really should be doing that one. This section, I think it's very, very, very much worth it. You just got to find the angle, right? You got to find the angle. You got to be able to slick. But if you can find the angle, the Hagar will just push you. The Hagar will push you straight up. And if you get to here, you got a jump pad. So you only really got to do like two thirds. This bit, also worth it. But probably less so than the others because this isn't as long. So I do think that's worth it. But maybe less so than the other parts. What does this do? Oh, that shoots you down into the ground. So if you're going too fast. This bit, only worth it if you do the rest of it. If you do the rest of it, try it. Otherwise, you're not getting to this practice bit. There's no way to get to there unless you do all of... Let's have a look. So you have to do all of... All of this section. This is the cutoff point to get to that ne next practice. Like, if you aren't doing all of this bit and doing this and doing this, you aren't getting there. So you really have to be. It's, there's a lot. There's a lot riding on these shortcuts. You see, um, 
practice is hard. Practicing is hard. But yeah, I, I think I think most people can do them. Um, but for sure the first one. The other one I think that's definitely worth it uh, for practicing. So that one I don't think it is worth going for until you know like you're pretty good. Right? But this bit, I think it's worth practicing. If you can do this... Oh, fuck. So if you can do this jump without using a rocket, then I think it's worth trying to use your rocket on that wall. You shoot it there, you come... Oh, fuck. You're going to get a bit of that. You shoot it there, you come round here, and then you get there because you get 12 rockets. This is definitely worth doing as well. So if you once you come around here, you're going to just have one rocket. Even if you do the whatever route, do the rocket jump over there or do that. You're going to have one rocket coming around here, right? So you're going to have one rocket. I reckon that is worth it. If you can get that timing, you can jump over there. That's going to be worth it if you've got the speed. This is quite difficult. That's going to be, again, all these little ones, they're going to be worth it if you've got the speed. The one that I think is worth it, learn to slick. Um, like I said, this one, it, it's not even part of the beginner route to not do that, I think. That, again, it's worth it. This bit, however, if you can learn to slick and you can get your speed up, it is worth hitting that because you don't need much speed. 1,200 and you're into the finish straight away. Oh, I haven't actually finished. Okay, so make sure that you go forwards through the finish because apparently you can miss the finish. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah, practice teleporter. I didn't get the finish. Right, that's why. So yeah, there is the roots. Feel free to ask questions. People will try and help you. I, um, usually around Des, will try and help you with things. It's difficult to show you over chat, uh, but yeah. It's been a blast. This is a fantastic map. Thank you very much. Ash was literally only... Um, working on this yesterday so thank ash very much for four out of five maps this week i'm trying to get this more consistent just to show people how it's done yeah thank you very much ash four out of five maps this week that's absolutely incredible working on this one last thing last night it's it's a mad map it really is it's definitely deserving of last map territory uber pro start is stack two rocks Yo, you get two shit Okay, Uber Pro Start, stack two rocks if you're Dex. Um, if you're not Dex, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy this week's map. Hope you get some good games in. I won't see you next week for another one of these, because there won't be another one of these next week. But please do watch the XTWC highlights and the record replays and all of that. Come over to my stream. Link's in the description. Where I stream XDF regularly and talk shit. And yeah. It's emotional. The last week is emotional. I don't want to end the video. But I'm going to. Thank you very much. See you next time.